Now as a student you have already been given login information which you've had shared with you in class. Uh, to get started right now we're going to go to login because you can't really do anything on KidBlog until you've logged in and this is for Mr. Barnes students only. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, the nice thing about logging in is I can just click select your name and uh, even if I've changed it from what I was originally given or not, it's here. So I've got some names here that weren't changed and I'm going to go ahead and log in as my fake student, which I use my daughter's name, Lauren, and she's gone in and changed hers and put some space in. But if I click on that, now all I have to do is type in my password and we're going to talk about changing that when we get in. And I go ahead and click log in and um, now I'm ready to go. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to control panel. You see here where it says logged in Lauren B. So if I were someone else, if I were Brianna W, that's what that would say with no space. And m maybe I want to change it. So I'm going to come up to control panel and I'm going to go to profile and this is where I would do that so originally when Lauren's account was set up it was Lauren B like this well she might want some space um, so uh, then I don't really need this with this long number I don't know that I necessarily have to remember that because I'm always going to log in through Barnes class and then now let's say I'm changing this I type in the old password and then now I'm going to change that to something that I'll remember all of the time but that no one else can remember and that way no one else can get into my kid blog account and either post as me or comment as me so uh, I'm going to change that and you know so uh, whatever I, I choose so I'm Lauren and I've changed that to something I'll remember and I'm going to click update profile and it says user updated and then I come into review posts and uh, this is going to tell me there's no posts found because I have not posted anything yet comments I could check my comments but I haven't left any comments so I would just go to new post and then I'm ready to begin and you see KidBlog is a very user friendly program and it, it gives me a chance to do a few different things I could attach a file I could add an audio or a video uh, I could use an image and put that in there and, and pull it in from files that I already have saved. So I could just type in my title, my first post, and um, you know maybe uh, I'm going to write about a book I read because we'll do a lot of reflection writing on you know maybe I could find a picture to add if I wanted to but there's a lot of things I can do on kid blog it's very easy now over here you notice it says submit for review this is important because what this is going to do is it's going to submit my blog post to uh, the administrative section where the teacher is waiting to look at it and and then it gets approved and then it goes live for everyone else to see and that's a really important security feature on KidBlog so that we don't have things appearing that we don't want so remember you've got profile is where you're gonna make changes please make sure you don't leave this blank or put in something that uh, no one's gonna recognize you know it has to be your name that's a really important piece any user display names that are not student names will automatically be deleted so it's really important that you leave that so that's how we're gonna get started with KidBlog we'll get some posts up and we'll see how things go